What's the good word, y'all? So quick uh, Makai Becton update. It looks like, as expected, the team will not pick up his fifth-year option, uh, which looks like it should be about $13.6 million. Now, this is pretty straightforward, right? Um, he hasn't been durable whatsoever during his tenure, first three years in the league so far. A lot of it does feel like it's been self-inflicted as we've kind of been able to piece some information together and even Makai Becton himself, if you want to take a look at like the season end press conferences and some of the recent conversations we got from him, he even appears like he's been taking on uh, more ownership and accountability in his part and not being able to stay on the field to perform to the levels we expect. Um, we should be able to see him see from him much like we've seen in his rookie years. So there are a few highlights. Obviously, we won't get an additional year to really uh, get a great feel for him. There's still going to be a good portion of the fan base that looks at him, even if he finishes a full 17 game season and says, I still don't know. Um, so that's a little bit concerning. Um, personally, I'm still in the I'm still in the category that I believe in the talent. It is about the durability, though, and you would like to see it over the course of more than just one season. So not exercising the fifth year option does have that kind of drawback for us. It also is going to bring contract uh, conversations much closer because we're going to have to close out a deal at the end of this season for him. Um, and if he can stay healthy, then he is going to earn himself a significant enough contract. But maybe there will be some kind of qualifiers in there regarding playing time um, or games played something something of that sort so that the team can kind of hedge their bets but uh this is going to be the next biggest contract potentially that isn't uh our veteran quarterback we're trying to get and that isn't Quentin Williams that we're dealing with but I do love what I've seen from Makai Becton in the last month to two months again season in press conferences there's been a lot of accountability from him um his spirits definitely seem much higher you don't see him necessarily worried about all the trolling that the fan base and stuff was giving him. But the key part to me was that he uh, emphasized he's been in the uh, the uh, he's been working with the training staff on site in the team building. Uh, everybody else knows what's been going on. We were just privy to that information uh, maybe three weeks ago. Uh, maybe it was about a month and a half now, actually. But uh, either way. He's been in the facility, which is a huge difference from the year before where there were huge question marks about his weight. Um, he was down in Texas. He was training. Obviously, he wanted to be there um, uh, with his uh, wife or fiance, girlfriend, whatever it is um, that was working on giving birth to his, uh, I want to say it was a son, he believes. I think he had a son. Could it be a daughter? Either way, but his child. Um and so it's just been great accountability. He's been with the team. Uh, we've seen him. He looks a lot slimmer. A lot of uh, the beat writers were reporting the same thing. So things look like they're on the up now. The team does expect him also to start, and they are moving him back to his original left tackle spot, uh, pending any significant moves from us. I don't think that uh stops us necessarily from going out and acquiring another solid tackle if we can in free agency i don't think that um you know negates us from being able to go out there and spin a, a round one round two pick on a tackle either without him feeling like his job is at risk but he knows what it is uh his ability to stay with the new york jets is definitely on the line this season uh and as a whole other 31 teams out there in the NFL that are going to look at him and say, I would love to have him on this team, especially if he can prove to be durable. So this is Makai Beck, uh, excuse me, this is Joe Douglas's first pick uh, during his tenure with the New York Jets. So it is a guy that I believe, you know, he feels he has strong ties to. Um, from what I remember, they have the same kind of background and stuff like that with where they grew up and everything as well. So it's going to be an interesting situation to see how it plays out. Uh, for comparison's sake, I guess, with where my mental process was, we just ran through a three-round three round mock draft. I did absolutely take a tackle in round one. Uh, and ironically, it was Dewan Jones, which is a guy that reminds me very much so of Makai Becton, except he might even have better tools 
than Becton did. Um, but that was more so to pair them up together and potentially be an insurance bet for Makai Becton. Um, but I think it's a similar plan that we end up taking, especially if we end up moving back. Uh, if there's a guy at the top we love that gets taken early like Paris Johnson. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Makai Becton, future left tackle for the New York Jets. Hopefully he has a durable season, but we aren't picking up his fifth year option. Smart move, dumb move. Would you take the risk of paying him out the 13.7 just to see if he can uh, have a second season in a row of sustainability being on the field? Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. I'll catch you again. Peace.